Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsusty and we will pick up in this episode where we left off last time. So down here in this corner I prepared uh, our 10 furnaces uh, just to get an idea of uh, where and what and how. Um, so basically on top here there will be a minecart with loader system on that end and the item to be uh, smelted will come from above probably uh, behind this this wall here and then we will store it in uh, in some chests here to be loaded into a minecart and here on the back Uh, we will have a uh, water stream going over uh, water stream because uh, we will need quite a few uh, uh, bamboo per seconds and I'm afraid that the uh, the hoppers uh, will not handle uh, the, the required speed and uh, for that we need an ice block every eight blocks so uh, basically uh, uh, in here we need a nice block so everything has to move over one and then I'm thinking maybe we could have uh, a bamboo storage uh, on this side with the, uh, uh, with the overflow bamboo so that in times where we are actually not producing enough uh, we can take from there and uh, somehow uh, put it in here again then the uh, output here at the bottom will also go uh, uh, behind this wall and uh, shoot up again so let me install this in a proper way and also have the uh, the loading station there uh, because then I can see uh, where the drop shoots uh, have to go uh, where I want to shoot everything uh, up again uh, up at the top I guess for now it will be uh, uh, just uh, uh, chests on the on the floor um, I'm not quite sure uh, uh, how I want to do that, but uh, we will figure things out as we go. So, see you in a bit. The loading station is done, and basically this is the same design as uh, in the other smelter. How this works is we have a detector rail here uh, that's read by uh, these comparators. Uh, powering this block and that would turn that torch off and that would uh, uh, force uh, this piston to retract uh, letting the minecart chest go. Then we have also comparator on that hopper so as long as there is something in there flowing into the minecart we get a signal into this block and with this block uh, in here we also uh, uh, power this piston so uh, even if the uh, minecart stands on the detector rail as it does now the piston stays extended holding the minecart in place then down here around the back we have signal strength 15 and the one crumb coming from here uh, going into a comparator powering this block and uh, then turning this torch off retracting that block um, and then uh, this piston is no longer powered and retracting and letting the minecart go so let's see how this works if we put 
50 items in here we should see the minecart go once uh, everything is through and he should then return back as long as uh, it's not empty so yep there we go and now it is empty and we should see five in every furnace great so that works then here on the back uh, we need the uh, water stream on here and uh, we have a block there so we probably need to go under here and luckily we can uh, have a soul sand block there to shoot items up and come around uh, come around here um, then uh, let me put this back for now then on top of here I placed some uh, uh, two double chests that feed into the hoppers so just a bit of uh, storage that we can uh, uh, feed from the top and the I think I will uh, dig out the drop shoot first and then uh, I can decide where the uh, items go I know that uh, here we have the the water with the bamboo so basically uh, we could also do this here along the back wall then somewhere we need to come out here because I guess we will have uh, water streams on, on this side for the uh, collection system and then we hmm maybe I will do the, the shootout uh, in, in this direction so I don't have to uh, cross, the, cross the water stream okay first things first drop shoot and then figure out the rest. Item transportation is done. Here you can see the drop shoot. Uh, well, not so good as it's uh, encased in uh, grey glass, but it's a uh, one white shoot that uh, lands uh, on a water stream, distributing the uh, items over uh, two hoppers, so they get distributed into the two double chests. And then down here, the collection line, I uh, snake this around here into this uh, uh, dropper setup onto a soul sand elevator that goes up to the top. So uh, let's quickly head to the top, put something into the, the drop shoot there, and then we can see uh, if this is uh, actually uh, working. Here on the top we have one double input chest and two double output chests, uh, water stream coming up there, then uh, once again uh, water stream over harpers distributing the uh, items uh, in here. I think input one double chest should be sufficient because uh, it's at most uh, one inventory and maybe a shulker box but we can always uh, attach a hopper uh, on the sides and put the shulker box uh, on top to uh, unload it and uh, of course output there is probably more than input uh, especially if I uh, do not uh, always uh, clean out the uh, output after doing some smelting 
So let's put some uh, iron ore in there and see uh, if this actually uh, works. And as you can uh, hear, uh, there is a dropper uh, below the chest, uh, so the uh, items are uh, spit out. And I put some coal into, yeah, you can see them falling down. And you can see uh, uh, I put some uh, coal in here and it's already smelting. And um, in a bit we should also see the first item going up. Yeah, right, so great, this works. And it was not even that complicated. Or I did not mess up that much. So next step is uh, the bamboo farms, uh, which will go in strips in uh, that direction. And uh, I have probably enough resources for one strip. Um, and then we will uh, uh, lay them horizontally. And I also think I will have uh, uh, two layers that uh, will go up. So uh, we will see how that goes. But let me prepare some material first. And then I can go into building mode again. There, you just saw it. All the uh, other bamboo grew all the way to the top and of course the one I used uh, to observe the growth was growing the slowest. But as you can also see, uh, some of the bamboo landed here on the uh, dirt and does not get picked up. But uh, with this setup, um, the, the following uh, growth should not all reach the uh, top, so uh, we will be uh, better in the future. So I will build up some more modules uh, until uh, I run out of resources, which is probably uh, the uh, checker lanterns. I forgot to press the record button for the first layer, so here is the second and the third layer. Once I got all the resources, it was pretty easy going, uh, building up one layer. Uh, then it takes about three quarters of an hour to do that, but just lying down one row of stone bricks or whatever that's almost two full stacks so it takes quite a bit of uh, of resources and uh, somewhere along the way or even before the project I did some miscalculation as with uh, these three layers built up we have already 270 bamboo plants of the uh, 820 uh, we aimed for. So basically uh, I'm al already one third there. So what I guess I will do is uh, I will uh, set up two more rows and uh, that will uh, be enough for the 10 furnaces that I have now and then maybe in the in the future I will use the rest of the space for something different or I will build a larger furnace array that will need more bamboo harvesting plants. Also the, the harvesting is looks quite good with uh, the, the delayed process as you can see here so uh, I'm quite happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so please consider leaving a like and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye!